so there was a Morningstar study that was released recently and um, it talked about a lot of inflows into cash kind of funds, um, almost nothing into multi-asset funds and what's really disturbing and worrying is that there's quite a big outflow from equity funds into these funds. Um, what is your take on it? You're right, Yolanda. I think it's a it's an interesting trend in the, in the industry at the moment where we're seeing uh, cash funds like money market funds and income funds that have generated better returns than share funds, so unit trust funds that invest in the stock market only, over a five-year period. What's happening now is investors are looking at that five-year performance and saying, wow, money market funds have done so well, I'm going to sell my share funds and move into money market funds. Now, the problem with, the, with a strategy like that is you're going to be buying next year's worst performer when you move into the money market funds and you're going to be selling next year's best performer when you sell out of the share funds. Am I predicting that stock markets are going to go up um, next year? No, but what I am saying is if we look at the trends over the last 20, 30 years, investors generally are very good at selling next year's best performer. And that's the danger with this trend that we're seeing now is we would encourage investors just to be really careful about rotating out of shares, out of equity unit trusts into money market funds now on the basis of performance, on the basis of looking at what has worked. Because what has worked for the last five years is almost surely not going to be what works over the next five years. So what clients then tells us is that our economy is really in the doldrums. Where are we going to see the growth coming from? I think it's, a, it's an important question because we're looking at uh, the difference between stock market growth, growth versus economic growth. And, and in South Africa, that relationship doesn't really exist as well as everyone thinks because the stock market is largely driven by international companies that happen to be listed on the, on the JSE. So we're talking about companies like Nasparis, like British American Tobacco, like Richmond, and the fact that they have a listing on the JSE is a historical issue. It's not really what, uh, where their business is represented anymore. Most of those companies sell a lot of their product and earn a lot of their money on the international markets. So when you look at the South African economy and you say to yourself, well, it's really doing badly and unemployment is a real problem now, you know, how, my, how is my stock market value going to grow? You must just distinguish the two. The stock market's going to recover and it's going to grow because international uh, sentiment changes. In other words, Donald Trump does a deal with China, investors become a bit more risk prone again and they're happy to take a bit more risk, they're happy to, to invest a bit more in emerging markets. That will be why the JSE will do well and for that matter why the RAND will strengthen. And, and economic growth will be a factor in the, on the South African stock market, but only over a five or a ten year period. It will change the sentiment, it will change the attitude of investors, but we don't need to see five or six percent economic growth before we see the, the, the stock market growth. And I think we're already seeing a change in the, in the sentiment around shares. Because if we look at the results of companies like Pick and Pay, they have delivered very good results in a very tough economy already. And we see their share price jumping up 10% in a day. And the reason for that is because the, the managers of those companies have started to adapt to the South African economy already. And they're already starting to generate uh, increasing profits off a very low base, but we are seeing the, the adaption there. So, so I think the growth is gonna come from, from both of those companies adapting to the South African environment and international businesses that are suddenly re-rated by international investors. And I think that's what investors look, should look out for. Don't be too stuck on the pessimism around the, the South African economy. So if your planning has been done correctly, asset allocation has been structured correctly, should you make any changes? No. I, I think that's the critical point here, is that um, the flows that we're seeing out of equity funds into money market funds in my view, is typically being driven by lousy financial planners because, let's face it, unit trusts in South Africa are largely sold by advisors to their clients. So I think what is happening here is clients are walking into their advisors' offices, like they do in ours for, for that matter, very unhappy about the low growth that we've seen from the stock market over the last five years. And instead of the advisor having a difficult conversation with the client to say, your, your, your position is correct, your asset allocation is correct, it's time to be patient now, which is generally what you'll find from our business, that's what we'll be saying to our clients. A, a, a bad advisor now is simply trying to pacify their clients, they're simply trying to make them less angry about past performance by saying, okay, well this is the number one ranked fund at the moment, it, hap it happens to be a money market fund, there's no risk, it's going to give you 7% a year, which is much better than the 2.5% a year that you've got from equity funds over the last five years, why don't we make the change? And by making the change, the, the investor feels pacified for the next three or six or 12 months. But the problem is that by then the stock market has started to recover. 
the, the investors who have stayed the course, who haven't made the change, are starting to get the returns that they should have been getting and starting to be paid back for their patients. And the investor who's in a money market fund in a year or two or three will be sitting in front of that same advisor who told them to go into the money market fund to say, hey, I've lost out on my 12% a year from equity funds. Isn't it time to go into those? The advisor will make them happy by putting them into the, money, uh, into the equity fund then and suddenly they get no growth again. So, so I think to step out of that cycle, to, step, to break away from that herd mentality, if your asset allocation is correct, if your overall structure is correct, be patient. I know it's difficult. It's very uncomfortable. Inflation is running uh, faster than stock market growth, but now is not the time to, to make a change. So, so our summary message to all of our, our investors and the people who listen to us is don't change now just because returns have been bad. Chasing what worked last year is certainly not a good strategy. In fact, it's probably a terrible strategy.